Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Is Darlene there? This is Darlene. I'm sorry, I was having my assistant call you about the Arab. Yes. And I just wanted to get a little information about it. How did you know my name? I'm from the ad in the paper. It says Darlene. Yes. And you're selling a purebred Arab for $500. Yes. That's, that's all I know. And your phone number. Okay. So I wanted to get some information about, you, you said, um, I heard him saying that the bird was imperfect somehow. The bird? Um, the Arab. Yeah, oh, yes, she is. She's blemished. Okay. Now, what exactly is the injury? She got her leg caught in a fence, and she's blemished. Okay, but it doesn't affect her ability to move or anything. No, not really, no. Okay, and um, pardon me for sounding like an idiot, but my wife was under the impression that the Arab was a, some kind of a bird. Ah! It's a horse! It's a horse! Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I had no idea, but that, that works too because we own a stable that we, we haven't even used since we bought it in 1989. Uh-huh. And it's just, it's basically land that I bought and there happens to be a stable on it. Uh-huh. And um, basically our anniversary is coming up and I just need a gift to give her. And it oh. doesn't really, you know, I suppose it doesn't even matter what. So well, yeah, it does. I guess, well, a horse would be a better gift to her than a bird. Because she, she was thinking that a, an Arab was a talking bird. And um, no. that would just drive me insane in the house. No, no, So no. a horse would be a better idea anyway, because it would be out in the stall miles and miles away, and it wouldn't be bothering us. So, but does she know anything about horses? Um, this filly is not, I mean, this filly is not trained. I mean, this mare is not trained. She's, she's not a beginner kind uh, of animal. So she can't be ridden. Well, she's not trained. Uh-huh. And that, that means that she's not trained. She's never had anybody on her back. But if you're looking for a oh. gift for your wife, I have some that are trained. Oh, then maybe that would be a better idea. <laughs> that would be a hell of a lot better idea. I mean, this silly, this man is, she's, she's not, I mean, she's, she's going to take some work. Yeah. That's why she's only 500 bucks. Right. Okay. Well, it's kind of like buying a car. You know, you can buy a car for $200, but it hasn't got an engine. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So, um, you know, this is a good idea because the stables have been empty and it would be good if we could get something to keep in there and we can hire somebody just to feed it and groom it and shit. Okay, so where is it that you live? We live two, about 200 miles away in New Fairfield. So it's, um, I could have, I could have somebody out there with a horse trailer. That's not a problem. Where is it that you live? Money is really no object. We live in New Fairfield. Where is that? Um, about two... You know, I've never driven exactly. Okay. But it's uh, it's in North Washington. Oh, okay. And um, having somebody come get it wouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, but see, when you're looking at a horse, now here's the deal. When you're looking at a horse, you need to have something that your wife is going to like. Well, she's I mean, a good 500 pounds, so she can't even ride it anyway. Excuse me? She's a good 500 pounds, so there ain't no horse who can cart her fat ass around anyway. Is this so, a joke? No. See, I can get the horse, and she can just look at it and groom it, and, you know, no matter no matter what horse we get, she'll never be able to ride it, one of them, but at least she can, it's something to take, you know, she doesn't work anymore. She retired already. So, um, you know, she's got the free time, and this might be good, you know, something to keep her out of the house and keep her out of my hair also. You know what I mean? No, I'm sorry. I, I don't. Well, if she's up if she's up visiting the horses, then she won't be home bothering me, and I can I can drink all the beers I want, and not have to listen to her. Okay. But about the horses, mm -hmm. um, her favorite color is gray. Do you have a gray mare? I have several grays. Yes. Okay. Um, how old? All the way from two weeks up to about sixteen years. Two weeks is probably too young and unruly. I would imagine. Do you have well, it can't leave its mother. Yeah. So, would you have anything that's maybe two or three years old, maybe still a youngling? Um, um, well, probably the best thing to do would be to come out and take a look at what I have. Yeah. You see, I don't want to. I don't want to bring her out there because I want it to be a surprise. I just want to bring her up to the stables, and all of a sudden there's a horse there that's never been there before. Mm -hmm. And so, who's the one that's going to have the knowledge to care for this animal? I, I assume it needs a stall and it eats hay and it needs a yard to run around in? 
Well, sort of, kind of, but I mean, it's like, you're talking about a thousand pound animal that can hurt you. Well, maybe if we got two of them so they could keep each other company? Mm, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I think that you'd have more problems then than you have now. Really? Mm-hmm. So, you mean they would fight and stuff? No, but horses tend to bond with each other, and then they're not interested in you, and then the next thing you're going to have trouble catching them, and you're just going to have trouble. I mean, if you're not going to be riding them, then why would you want to? Well, just to keep each other company. You know, money what? is no object. I, I made a ton of money off the Internet. Mm-hmm. You know, Internet porn? Excuse me? Internet porn is very, very lucrative. So we, ma we made a ton of money back in the late 90s off of the Internet. So money is really no object. Neither of us work anymore. We won't have to work the rest of our lives. So we can set these horses out there and just let them frolic and do what they will, and she can go out there and, you know, eat her fucking 10-pound picnic basket or whatever the hell she's going to bring out there. She's 500 pounds. How could she be 500 pounds? I mean, this must you be know, some that, kind of a joke. That's a really good question, but uh, she doesn't, like I said, we don't work, and she doesn't go out. She doesn't really do much of anything. This would probably get her out of the house more than she's ever been in the past five years. You know how it is, you know. No, I don't. No, you're not wealthy yourself? No. Uh -uh. It, it's a wonderful thing. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think money is wonderful? No, I don't think it's necessarily wonderful at all, no. Well, the downside is you, you, have, you don't have a whole lot of to do, you know. If you don't have a job to go to, you don't have a whole lot to do. Then you don't have a life. Exactly. So that's why I want to get her the horse. She can care for it and groom it and comb it and talk to it and do whatever she wants to it. Well, I don't really think I have anything that would work for you. When would be a good time for us to come out and take a look? Well, I, you know, and I, I just don't really think I have anything that would really work for you. I, you know, I mean, I, I just don't. No, so. what's it, we're not going to mistreat the animals. They're just going to be living free on this stable. It's 27 acres of property, and it just has a stall and a fence, and they can just run wherever the hell they want. Well, I, I just don't think that I have anything that you, that would work for you at all. You're, I really don't. You're afraid we're going to mistreat the horses? No, I don't think you'd mistreat them. I just don't think that um, I would have anything that would be suitable for what you're... I try to be really selective on where my horses go, and I just don't think that this is... You know, you can even come and visit them whenever you want, because nobody will be at the stables for most of the time. You can just go well, that's what I'm saying. You know, I mean, it's like, no, I don't think that's the kind of life I would want for one of my horses. You're worried but, about the life of the horse? Yeah, actually. You know, if the horse had a half a minute, it would kick your head in. Probably. Yeah, probably. But I do appreciate you calling. So um, maybe, you know, some of the other ads would be more suitable for you. Okay, well, I'm sorry to call you. All right. You, have a nice evening. You and your horses have a good evening. Uh-huh. Bye-bye.